Hi, welcome back to another episode of From Prison to the Streets. I am Eric. I did 11 years in prison. I talk about prison stuff. Hello. So, today we are talking about successful reintegration. What it takes. And I've talked about this in some of my previous videos, but the quality was poor because I didn't really expect people to start watching my videos. Um, I was just putting them out there as a just in case you're getting out of prison and you need some help. Here you go. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to consolidate some of that and put that in this video. So be sure to like and subscribe and here we go. Let's start by defining successful reintegration. Successful reintegration to me is not having a steady job. It is not having steady housing. It is not having transportation. It is not having money. All of those are important things. Don't get me wrong, but they are not success because I have known people who have gotten a good job after they got out. They had housing, they had money, they had transportation, they had all of that stuff and they went back. So, Successful reintegration is closely tied with the idea of rehabilitation. You can change your housing, you can change your job, you can change your financial situation, but if your mindset doesn't change, you're going to end up in prison. In the United States, two out of three people will return to prison within three years after getting out. Two out of three people will return to prison. Within 10 years, 8 out of 10 people will return to prison. So getting out and staying out, that is successful reintegration to me. So one of the things that's required is a purpose and a vision. Where do you want to go? What do you live for each and every day? What is important to you? And where are you going to go? Where do you see yourself? We got to talk about priorities. Is your priority to get rich? Is your priority to have a lot of stuff? Is your priority to have better relationships with the people around you? Stuff like that. Your purpose is what is going to drive you. For me, I would suggest you prioritize something that is immaterial because if you pick something that is based on principles, that is going to be around no, no matter what your circumstances are. I prioritize helping others, self-development, and, you know, things of that nature. That's where my priority lies. I want to do something good for me. I want to take time to enjoy the simple things in life. I want to develop as a person and I want to do something at each and every day for someone else that makes someone's life better. That's my purpose. That's the first thing that you need. And you also need a vision of where you want to be down the road. And then you have to figure out what it takes to achieve that vision. I would recommend committing it to writing. So here's where I want to be in order to do this. I need to accomplish this, this, and this, right? And if you commit it to writing, then you can hang it up somewhere where you can see it. You can see where your goals and objectives are. You can check on your progress, all of that. Which brings me to the next thing, perseverance. That is so important to successful reintegration because you're going to have some bad times. I'm not going to lie. I have some bad days. I don't ever want to say I'm struggling because I'm not. I'm a happy man. I'm, I'm happy with my life. I have some beautiful people in my life, some beautiful people around me, a lot of things that I'm grateful for, a lot of things that I enjoy. There are difficult times, though. You might have a hard time at work. You might become injured like me. You might have a hard time finding housing. You're going to face some challenges. You might not get along with your parole officer or something like that. That's tough. You might have to deal with addiction. 
and you have to push through that knowing that there's hope knowing that there's hope for something better in your future and you have to have that hope for something better in your future and you have to believe in yourself and believe in your ability to overcome the challenges that you face there is nothing that you can't do when you apply yourself and you put in the effort you do that and you'll overcome any challenge you face with that perseverance comes acceptance there are some things that you can't change you know i didn't always agree with my parole officers but i just had to accept that that's how it was sometimes and move on from there there's some shit that happens in life that you can't control and you just have to kind of grit your teeth and push through it and accept the shitty parts that you can't change Something else that's really important is that you have a support system. It's really important when you get out that you surround yourself with good people, people who want to see you succeed. Don't surround yourself with people who want to see you get high. <laughs> you know, don't, don't surround yourself with people who are going to hand you a syringe or a pipe or something like that. Um, surround yourself with people who want to see you succeed and who are going to give you the tools to succeed. Have people around you who look out for your best interest and bring out the best in you, who challenge you to become better each and every day. Super important. Because they are going to push you out of your comfort zone and into a brighter future. Because growth involves change, moving from the known to the unknown. So surround yourself with people that are going to challenge you, push you forward, and who are going to be there to help carry you when you fall. The other big thing, patience. And this is hand in hand with acceptance. Stuff happens that we don't like. And so you have to accept that and have patience. You have this vision, you have these goals, you have a purpose. But it's not going to happen overnight. You have to have patience and believe in a brighter future. So you have to have the patience to sit and watch the seeds that you plant come to fruition. And you have to be okay with it taking a little bit of time. And you have to be okay with not getting it on your first try. You have to be okay with failing. Because there's going to be a lot of days when you feel like a failure. Maybe you lost a job. Maybe a tree fell on your house. Maybe you got in a fight with someone who you were really close to. Maybe you had an argument, had a falling out. There are going to be so many days that you feel like a failure. You have to learn how to be okay with that. Because you might fail a million times. It only, only takes... One success to make those seeds that you plant grow to fruition. But you just have to believe in yourself. You have to have confidence that you can do it. And to hell with anybody who tells you that you can't. So those are my ideas on a successful reintegration into society. I hope this has been helpful to somebody. Kind of a throwback to my first videos. I love you all. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by, even if you're not subscribed. I'm Eric. I will catch you all later.